This video is going to have a look at fuel cells, another type of renewable energy source, what their advantages are and what their disadvantages are. The first thing to know is that when you take hydrogen and oxygen and react them together, they give out a lot of energy. Here's an example of what happens when you have a hydrogen balloon and put fire to it. So you can see just that small bit of fire when hydrogen and oxygen react together gives loads of energy out. Just so you can see it in even slower motion. So you can see the sheer amount of energy you can get just from a small amount of hydrogen reacting with oxygen. That brings us to what is a fuel cell? The basic definition for a fuel cell is something that uses a fuel and oxygen to produce energy. The main example is where you have a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. So what this means is they have a fuel cell that contains hydrogen and oxygen and they react together. It means one of the positives is, is the electricity is generated directly from that reaction. So you take hydrogen and oxygen, you react them together, you get your water and you get your energy, your electrical energy. There are no moving parts like in a normal engine. There's no turbine, no generator. Therefore, you don't have energy lost through kinetic energy or through heat energy. And then finally, there's no carbon dioxide given off. That's one of the main advantages. In this reaction here, the only product is water with our energy given off. So there's no CO2, so it doesn't add any of the major greenhouse gases. There are some disadvantages, however. Hydrogen, H2, is a gas. And the problem with that is you need a lot more space to store it because it expands to fill the container. It's explosive, so it's difficult to store. You need some really, really thick, strong containers, and therefore it needs to be safe to transport. And you produce the hydrogen from hydrocarbons. That usually means burning hydrocarbons, which gives off carbon dioxide. So it's not completely CO2 free.